Words appear, a Lens 15 media production, a crescent-shaped coastline. I was following a team of sniffer dogs through a mangrove swamp when it first hit me. I was reporting from Tacloban in the Philippines after a super typhoon killed several thousand people. And it got me thinking, how would someone with a disability survive a storm like that? Someone like me. Debris surrounds barren trees. Under normal circumstances, I get around just fine for someone with a low vision impairment, but I'm not so sure how I do during 195 mile per hour winds or if a tidal surge ripped through my town. Pouring rain, a wave washes over our view. Sure, this would be a big problem for anyone, but if you lose your wheelchair, can't find your way to the shelter, or can't communicate with first responders, then those dangers become magnified. So if climate change increases the chance of a severe weather disaster, then the threats to people with all kinds of physical, sensory, or learning disabilities will also increase. People sign, walk with a cane, and crawl on the ground. As a National Geographic explorer and Fulbright researcher, I traveled all around coastal South Asia to learn more about the risks faced by disabled communities on climate change's front line. And I teamed up with filmmakers in Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, and the Maldives to tell those stories. In this video series, I'll take you behind the scenes to show how my documentary, Invisible Impact, came together. Text Invisible Impact Disability on Climate Change's Frontline. Visit lens15.com impact. Subscribe to this channel or the Lens 15 Substack newsletter to learn more about the film and how to screen it.